So this talk is called Experimental Confirmation that Einstein's Relativity has been misunderstood. Uh, and the information I'm going by is from a William Walker, who I've been in communication with. This is the relevant paper. It's his thesis. He wrote it's from gravitational interaction studies. Uh, there's also these papers associated with it. So getting down to explaining things, I've pointed out there's uh, problems with translation and mathematics in Einstein's 1905 paper on special relativity. And I've done various videos on that. And this is the basic maths. This is the Lorentz Einstein transformations, sometimes just called Lorentz transformations, and the Galilean transformations. And now, this book uh, by Arthur Miller points out that. Uh, Galilean transformations were first used in 1911. However, another book is saying the Galilean transformations were named in 1908. So there's a bit of uh, querying over the date for it, but the Galilean transformations came after 1905. So the Galilean transformations were named probably 1908 to 1911 and Einstein's 1905 paper on special relativity was dealing with Lorentz transformations, not Galilean transformations. Nothing would be said about how Galilean transformations connected to Lorentz transformations in his 1905 paper. How Lorentz transformations were connected to uh, Galilean transformations came after uh, 1905 and they, which is the physics community, the physicists, they got it wrong. So the usual thing said is that Lorentz transformations reduced to Galilean transformations at low speeds and that is false. And that's pointed out by Rolf in the American Journal of Physics in March 2006. And the paper says, misconceptions about special relativity are common and pernicious. I address two such misconceptions, the low speed behavior of the Lorentz transformations and the meaning of the phrase, the constancy of light speed. And that's uh, by the American Association of Physics Teachers. So note it's physics teachers. He's addressing a problem that uh, what is being taught about relativity is false. What is taught is the Lorentz transformations reduced to Galilean transformations at low speed, and that is false, i.e. false relativity is being taught. The common knowledge that physicists have about relativity uh, comes in many years of being taught things about relativity that is false. So that now there is a false relativity, a commonly known version. What most people know as relativity is false relativity. And the real relativity is different to that. And the real relativity we we'll have to call revised relativity. So we go into this other paper. It's uh, you note it's also about physics education. Once again, what is being taught about relativity is wrong. And what the 
the paper is pointing out is there's a difference between C and measure. And this is uh, not really taught to uh, physics students. So once again, false relativity is being taught to physics students. So what we see is obeying Newtonian physics. And what we measure is obeying Lorentz transformations. So C obeys Newton, measure obeys Einstein with his light postulate. I will pass on the difficult issue of arguing what light postulate means. The important thing is there a difference between C, which is Newton, and measure, which is Einstein. So this is uh, Walker's thesis and related papers once again. Reminding of that. Is experimentally showing that there's a difference between C, which is Newton, and measure, which is Einstein. And this is both on the near field, which is short distances, and far field, which is long distances. For near field, what we see and measure are approximately the same thing. But as you go to far field, see and measure diverge more and more as being different. And that's what the empirical, empirical evidence shows. Uh, thinking otherwise to that is just false teaching, uh, i.e. relativity being misunderstood and experiments to show that. There was no Lorentz transformations reduced to Galilean transformations at low speed. That is false relativity, and it's not in not in Einstein's 1905 paper on relativity. Uh, just a falsehood that was added later by, the, by those who misunderstood relativity. And it's likely that Einstein would be included with those people misunderstanding relativity. So thank you, that's the end of this video, pointing out relativity has been misunderstood. What is being taught is a false relativity. So in large part, it is a teaching problem of students being falsely taught about relativity. And then the correct relativity we will now have to take as revised relativity, where that is different to the false relativity that students are being taught. Thank you at the end of this video.